Before the Hamas terror attack of October 7th, more than 200,000 Palestinians from the West Bank and Gaza worked in Israel and supported the Palestinian economy. For more than a year, Israel has prohibited them from entering Israel, and they have all lost their jobs, mostly in construction. Shukian Najjar, a Palestinian house painter from Gaza, was working in the southern Israeli city of Beersheba when the war began. Now he is unemployed and stuck in the West Bank Palestinian town of Ramallah, unable to enter Israel or to return to Gaza because the borders are closed. Before the war, I was comfortable, even when I was unemployed. I was with my family. There was no fear. Now the economy is worse, and I am very scared for my family's well-being, their safety. Along with 80 percent of Gaza's residential buildings, Anajar says his family's home in northern Gaza was destroyed in an Israeli airstrike. Fortunately, he says, his family was not at home. The economy in Gaza has been destroyed, and UN agencies say it will take decades to rebuild. The economy in the Palestinian West Bank has also suffered significantly during a year of war, with unemployment rising to about 40 percent. Here we lost around 10 to 12 percent of our GDP in, in West Bank uh, after uh, a year of, of the war. And, uh, and now the unemployment rate uh, uh, tripled. And uh, poverty, of course, will rise. So now we're talking about poverty in the West Bank of around 45 percent. Many of the businesses in the West Bank are boarded up or operating at a severely reduced capacity. Palestinian blacksmith Rabi Flefel says he hardly earns enough to feed his children. His business, making iron grills and window decorations, is down by 90 percent because he says people are conserving their money for bare necessities. Similar sentiments are voiced across the street by Khalil Abu Arayis, the owner of an auto repair business. People are not working. If they have a hundred shekels, they want to save it to buy food. They don't want to come to an industrial area to buy a door or fix a car. Many Palestinians in the West Bank say the current economic situation in the West Bank is the most difficult they've ever faced. They hope that the war in Gaza will end soon so they can resume working in Israel, which would allow the economy to begin to recover. Linda Gradstein, VOA News, Ramallah in the West Bank.